Tonight's class was a request topic on vertigo. So we'll be talking about vertigo. Okay? As we talk about vertigo, the differentiation of dizziness or a referral to dizziness. Uh, let's see. Dizziness. And what we'll be looking at are three different types of dizziness or three different causes of vertigo. So we'll look at peripheral. You get a better ink here. So we'll look at peripheral vertigo. We'll talk about central. And we'll talk about systemic. So that, those are our topic subcategories, if you will. Okay? How many of you have ever experienced vertigo? Have you ever had a vertiginous episode or felt dizzy? Okay? What does that mean when we talk about feelings of vertigo? One person may describe it as, I felt dizzy. Someone else may say, I felt lightheaded. Somebody may say, I stood up too quickly. Someone may say, I had ringing in my ears. I had this sense as if I was spinning or the room was spinning and all of those can describe vertigo okay and they may all be the case so as we differentiate vertigo you can see how difficult it can be to actually figure out what are you really experiencing so we have to really discuss or dig deeper we can't just say oh vertigo or I felt dizzy alright so let's make one key differentiation as we begin our discussion tonight because it's important that we understand um, first of all vertigo as a perception of spinning okay first of all let's talk about ego centric versus geo centric now this can be a tricky concept because a lot of people when they look at this and hear this for the first time, especially physicians, I know for myself when I was going through school or my uh, continuing education with the neurology, this is really a key differential because it helps us to understand the likelihood of being corrected. Okay? An ego center means I'm at the center of the universe, right? Me, and therefore I am stationary and the room or the world seems as if it's spinning around me. So if I say that I feel dizzy, and what I and I the differentiation then is what do you mean by dizzy? Is the room spinning or are you spinning? In an egocentric, I'm stationary and I feel like the room is spinning around me. Okay? So I lay down quickly and it looks like the room is spinning around me. Or I sit up quickly and I sit to the side of my bed and I have to grab on because the room is spinning around me. Okay? That is an ego, I'm centered, egocentric type of vertigo. Okay? The difference is geo, what does geo refer to? The world, right? Geology, the study of earth. So geo is at the center, it's stationary, but it feels like then I'm spinning within the world, okay? Or the world is stationary, but it feels like, oh, I'm falling, okay? And you'll see that. Go ahead. Is that the feeling you get if you spin around 14 times and try to walk? Is that what you're saying? It can be, but if you, after you've spun around quickly, okay, you've actually stimulated your labyrinthine system, and what you're feeling really is still the, the world feels like it's spinning, mm -hmm. right? There is a sensation of you spinning, but it's also the world is... When you try to look, the world is <laughs> going around you, right? But what we're talking about more importantly here is with a geocentric, this is where you'll see a person who's had a brain lesion. When they try to stand, they'll always be leaning or falling, okay? So what you'll see oftentimes is the egocentric is more treatable than is the geocentric. That's the take home from this, okay? If the world feels stationary and you're spinning around it, or the world feels like it's stable, but I'm 
on this boat and I'm falling into it. The ground is coming at me, okay? But it's actually me, my perception is I'm going toward the ground, I'm falling, I'm spinning, and the world is stationary, okay? That is the harder to treat because that's more commonly a brain lesion. So when we look at the MRI of this type of a person, this is a person that had come to us, uh, on their MRI of their brain, in the cross section, what you would actually see is in the one side of the brain where the brain has this little area called the ventricles. This will be dark, okay? But this whole area right here looked as if a teaspoon had been scooped out of it, okay? And that person, when they're sitting, is actually on, on this side. When that person is sitting, they'll actually start to tip toward that side of the lesion. When they stand, they're falling toward that side of the lesion, okay? The, the ground is stable, but it feels like they're always moving away from it. And that's much more difficult to treat than is this. Okay? Why, why is the brain eroding or whatever? This was a stroke. So the, the bleed caused cell death there, an infarct of the brain, okay? It's pretty tough when you see those situations. But, we also see some really neat things happening uh, in this specific case of healing, okay? And we've been using lasers and some exercises that have been really, really neat, okay? Um, so that's the take home. Egocentric is more treatable than is the geocentric, okay? Although both can be treated, and we've had great success with them. Now what would be another example of the egocentric? Leslie gave us an example of, I, I spin myself around, Another would be car sickness, motion sickness, right? Get on the, the ride and afterwards I feel like, whoa, I get in a swing set and I spin myself all the way up, stop the ride, stop the ride, stop the ride, right? <laughs> that can be a, a sense of an egocentric, that it, you stop and then the world is just spinning around me, okay? That's what we'll see with that. Is everybody clear with that? Now, motion sickness, please. Uh, I was just going to go into motion sickness. Why do a lot of people when they're younger don't have it and as soon as they get older they get it? Great question. So let's actually go to that first, okay? So we'll talk about the peripheral. First we'll talk about a peripheral type of a vertigo. When, and the question Jen asks is, why is it that when little children are on the swing set, you can just go and go? and go, and they get on the merry-ground, and they go, and they go, and they go, and now as adults, we just look at that chair spinning, it's like, could you please stop that? Okay, why is that? When we look at the brain, the brain has two hemispheres, as we know, and the cerebellum also has, basically, two hemispheres. As a child, as we begin to develop, we're still very <laughs> bipedal, right? We have learned to be single-handed, Right? We start to create a side of dominance. But as we, the age, as we age, we become more and more, let's say this is our right, this is our left, more and more hand dominant. So as this hand becomes more and more dominant, this brain becomes more and more dominant, this cerebellum becomes more and more dominant. We do less and less bilateral activities in the day. We actually create an imbalance for ourselves. Okay, Such that then, it becomes very easy for me to spin to my right. I sit in a chair, I spin to my, myself to the right, feel okay, spin myself to the left, whoa, it doesn't feel as comfortable because I've lost some of the plasticity on that side of the brain compared to the other, okay? So sometimes what we actually need to do is stimulate the metabolic activity of that side of the brain and start to activate the two sides again to create balance, right? We may need to actually, perchance then, write with our opposite hand, or get back to playing the piano, get back to dancing, get back to crawling, go back to skiing but not being so dominant, snowboarding with just one leg down the hill all the time, right? Get on my bicycle and actually ride my bicycle. Um, but really, the more we can create then a balance in the brain and create a balance in the two hemispheres of the brain, the more active again that we can become. And then, just as we've shown sometimes before, sometimes we have to strongly stimulate this left side, okay? So we can do some little push-pull turns, 
on that side of the body joint mechanoreceptors just push pull turn um, sometimes we can adjust it or use the laser on that side and then retest that perception of the spin right we've done that before mm -hmm. for some so 